the 2022 Harley Davidson models are out. The new colors are out. I haven't seen them yet. I've seen one or two pop up on my Instagram uh, from what people have posted, but this is gonna be my first time going online right now, looking at the colors, giving you guys my actual, real first impressions on all the new colors. Um, we're gonna talk about what I think about them, if I like them, if I don't like them. So as we go through this video, drop your thoughts and comments down below. I'm gonna be posting up pictures right here as well. Um, as we go one by one, looking at the new colors. I'm actually pretty excited about this. So let's roll the intro and get into it. laptop right here so we're gonna go to harleydavidson.com um what are we gonna do first we're gonna go to sports what do we got for sports all right so we have the sports s we have it in the vivid black again um and we have a white sam pearl that looks pretty nice i'm not sure if that's the same white from last year from 2021 um it might be a different i think it's a different white if i'm not mistaken and then we have here the mineral green metallic that's the uh green that we've seen on the uh sportster 88 uh, a few years back i think um nice color uh not too crazy about it um the white pearl to me is the nicest one that's gonna be the only bike that we have in the uh sport category um obviously this year we are anticipating the new sportster so those hopefully are in that category they might be in cruiser because they're changing everything up we don't know yet uh, but let's go to cruiser. So we have the 883. We have here, we have black denim. Okay, black denim is obviously the 883 color because I think it's it's the color that looks the best on that bike. Uh, Gunship Gray. Gunship Gray is pretty nice. I like Gunship Gray on other bikes. And then we have that white Sam Pearl again on the Sportster. The white Sam Pearl is pretty nice, but I like it. 48, vivid black again. We have that reef blue. Um, only the gas tank. As we know, the 48 only comes with the color gas tank, not the fenders. And then we're gonna have the white sand pearl. Yeah, white sand pearl is uh, making it big. It's almost on every bike. We have the soft tail standard. We know that only comes with vivid black. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. We have the street bop here, but it has mag wheels on it. Uh, is there an option for spokes? The, so, all right. Oh, I like this. I, I like this. The street bob with no spokes. I mean, I think it, it should be like an, like you have a choice if you want it with spokes or mags, but I only see mag wheels on here. They look good. Like they look really good. That red color. Ooh, you know what? No, no, no. The red line red is amazing. It looks good. That fastback blue though. Wow, that fastback blue looks amazing. Wow. Ooh, you know, ooh, I like that gauntlet gray too. That gauntlet gray metallic. Woo! And then we're gonna have the uh, vivid black, which we had last year with the same uh, color scheme. But wow, the red, that red line red, and that fastback blue just blew my mind. Fastback blue blew my mind. I like that. <laughs> the blue color with the black mag wheels is, oh my God, imagine that bike with a with a matching Memphis Shades fairing on it. Uh, two and a one, stainless steel, uh, bruh, bruh, bruh. Uh, so far, this is my favorite bike for 2022. Okay, Fat Bob, two-tone color. What? All right, so we got the we got the vivid black two toned. Is that a two tone? Oh wait, what? We got that vivid black two tone on tank, pretty cool. But the white sand pearl again, white sand pearl. They're they're really they're they're running hard with this white sand pearl. The white sand pearl two tone, I like a lot. I think it looks pretty cool. I, I like the two tone on the tank. Um, yeah, I like that one too. Very, very cool. Only two color options for the Fat Bob. Um, let's keep going on to the next bike. What do we have here? We've seen two-tone colorways on the Fat Boy before. Um, Reef Blue, really nice. We got that Midnight Crimson with black, really nice. And the Vivid Black, nice. 
nothing nothing too special there uh what do you have next mm, heritage colors eh not too crazy about them um oh i like the red the red line red vivid black black finish with cast wheels ah uh, oh okay 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 that's my favorite one and then it comes with that same colorway in that uh, reef blue or black with the um, cast wheels. I like that one. I, if I had to go with a Heritage, it would be that one. It would be the one with the cast wheels because it looks super, super cool. It comes with a blacked out windshield as well. Um, really liking the look of that. Very, very, very nice. That's gonna be it for the cruisers. Let's hop into Grand American Touring. We got the Touring bikes here. We got the Electric Glide, same color, only comes in vivid black. We all know about that. Road King, we have something here, a little special, a little two-tone on, on the bags below. Eh, nothing crazy about that. That's a skip for me. Road Glide, what do we have for the Road Glide standard? We only have, how many color options? Three color options, Reef Blue. Once again, they're, they're running really hard with the White Sand Pearl and the Vivid Black. Not too many color options as of now for the standard, both for the Rogue Glide and Streak Glide, as we can see. Rogue King Special, uh, once again, is that the same green as before the Mineral um, Green Denim? I think they had that a year or two ago. Uh, Midnight Crimson, uh, okay, Vivid Black, nothing crazy. Uh, what I was waiting for, the Rogue Glide Special, we'll see what colors we have on here. They're going to attract my eyes to that bike for this year. Uh, we have the uh, Vivid Black, as we know, uh, Black Denim. Now, nah, skip over that. Nothing, nothing special, nothing special. Once again, White Sand Pearl. I really like the White Sand Pearl on the Rogue Glide. It's amazing. Nice little touches of whatever color you want to add to it. It's going to look good with it. Very nice. Very nice. Oh! <laughs> Reef Blue Vivid Black. The two-tone color for this year. Because last year, it was the two-tone color with the red and black, as you can see here on my bike. Um, oh, God. That looks really good. If I'm not, I'm not a blue type of person. I like the blue in the street, Bob. For this one, it looks really good. Um, I, I still prefer my red and black over the blue and, and black one here, but it looks really good. I love it. Uh, we have uh, red line red. Red line red looks really good with the all black finish as well. Um, okay, okay. All right, nothing. All right, cool. I thought, I thought they were going to have more color options, but okay. I mean, I'll take it. What else do we care about? Let's look at the street light, I think. Uh, and then we'll go on to the Pan America and see what they do with the Pan America. Midnight Crimson Vivid Black. I like the two-tone on the street glide. Very cool. Very cool. Um, Rogue Glide Limited, I really don't care about. Ultra Limited, I really don't care about. Let's go into the Pan America. Let's see what they did with the Pan America this year. Uh, da, 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 Adventure Touring. Adventure Touring! I just had to. Let's look at the special. Uh, fast back blue once again. The fast back blue on the street bob and in the Pan America. I like the blue with the white uh, and the black. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I like it, man. With the spokes as well. If I had to get this bike, it has to be with the spokes. And it would be in fast back blue and white. That would be my top pick for the Pan Am this year. My, that, that's, it, looks, it looks cool. All right, so that's basically all the bikes. Um, there was something missing on here. Uh, where is my lowrider ass? It's it's not on the website. If you guys saw my latest videos, you guys know what I talked about. I think for this year, they're gonna be changing up the lowrider ass. They're gonna be adding an FXRT, FXRP fairing on it. We're gonna have a vintage look to it. I think they're gonna have both options. They're gonna have the lowrider ass, and then they might have the lowrider ass touring model, per se, or or sport touring, you could say. Um, 
I cannot wait to see that. So it's not on the website. Let's wait for the date, uh, the 20 something, I'm post it up right here, the actual date. That's gonna be the actual release for the new bikes that are coming out for 2022. There's, we're gonna, uh, what, what are the rumors? I mean, they're not rumors. We're, we're expecting the new Sportsters with the Revolution engines. That's gonna be huge. We're expecting the biggest rumor of the 2022 Lowrider Astronaut with a FXRT fairing. I cannot wait to see that if that's gonna be it. So that's gonna be huge. And then other bikes that I think they're gonna, they're gonna be coming out with for sure. So we can we have like three more weeks, two and a half more weeks to wait to that date. Um, and then I have a huge, 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 huge surprise for you guys for next month. This is gonna be epic. It's gonna be big. You're gonna wanna definitely tune in. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'm gonna be doing something really, really big on this channel. And I really want you guys to see and experience everything with me as I indulge in this huge, amazing experience. So tune in for that. Now I gotta say my favorite, favorite bike so far as of now, cause we don't know what else is coming out, has to be the 2022 Street Bob and that Fastback Blue with those new mag wheels that are coming out with from stock now. My favorite bike on the lineup, hands down. That or the Pan Am, the Fastback Blue, looks amazing as well. Um, and then if I had to go with the Rogue Light, it would be the two-tone color with the blue and the black. That looks really nice. And then the two-tone Street Glide looked amazing as well. Those are my top picks. My, my top favorite cool looking bike that just pops out is that Street Bob. If you're looking for a cool new looking cruiser that's gonna turn heads, that's the bike with that color. And even the gray looks amazing and that red looks amazing. Just, that's the bike for you right now, but just, just wait till the end of the month because we may have some cooler stuff coming out. Anyway, guys, if you're into this type of content, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. That's what will notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. We got some more cool stuff coming your way. And I'm gonna let you go with that. Like always, let the fortune with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.